Hello and uh, welcome back. And uh, today I have something nice. It's from the USSR. It is the C1118 and it is in its original box. It is, uh, I think it's produced in the in the early 80s. There, there has been uh, several models. This is the C1118, but there was also an S1118. And uh, the first one that was produced in the early 80s of the C1118 uh, had, uh, I think it was a 10 mega edge maximum. And later after 88, they also produced one with uh, 20 mega edge. I'm gonna see if it still works, I'm going to open it. Uh, it is a two channel. And the nice thing of this uh, Orsigli scope is that by default, it is already isolated. So, you don't need to do any complicated stuff like you need to do with some of the oscilloscopes. It you just have an internal transformer and that just isolates it from the from the mains. So that is cool. Uh, let's open it. Okay, here we have the box. Let's carefully open it. And it's uh yeah, we call it a deep schuim, but I think it's polystyrene. But it looks a lot more compact than, than we have here in the Netherlands. Or maybe it's because of its age. Or it's just that in the USSR they use stronger stuff, maybe smaller bubbles. Yeah, it seems all original from what I have seen on the internet. Look at this. This is amazing. Let's try to get it out. Yeah, look, they even have spaces for the feet and for the stand. And here they made a space for the power plug. Okay, seems to be a cover in the front. Let's put the feet. Uh, power plug. Okay, here we have some adjustments, more adjustments, and indeed, it is the C1118, but we still don't know if it's the first or the second version, if it's 10 or 20 megahertz. Ooh, wow. Okay, let me zoom in on that. I will take the power plug out first. This is really made for portable. I like it. And because all the casing is also plastic, and yeah, then I only wonder why they use the grounding here. If it's supposed to be isolated, or in the end, they never connected that. So let's see how that is. Let me zoom in on the oscilloscope. Okay, if we have a look at the front, you can see it actually still looks quite good. And uh, let me zoom in a bit. And what you also might notice is that even though it is, uh, it is uh, from the USSR, the signs are just like European letters. No, it's even French. Look. Production, do la US, Mercier. So this one actually looks very French. And I know that there are also really, I will show you a picture. Okay, well, before I switch it on, I just wanted to see about this isolation of the, of the oscilloscope that I read. Um, but maybe because of European rules, they just didn't do that because it is indeed not also ice. It is not isolated. If I measure between my grounds here, uh, um, yeah, I just have 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So 
this one is not isolated unless maybe you use a different plug because this is a grounded plug. So that is different from what I have read. Okay, let's switch it on. Uh, I need to put the power plug in, of course. Uh, probably the Marche button. Yes. Let's see if we can somehow get some. No, I don't have it. Is. Right. Okay, let me wait until it heats. Okay, I think it is heated. Uh, look. Okay, now we need to do some brightness, focus. Look. Okay. How many channels we have? One or channel two. Switch on, switch on, both channels on. Okay, that still seems to work. It is a Nifo button, which means level, I think. I don't know exactly what a level will do. Maybe it's trigger level. Get this one to zero. Oh, put this one here, put this one here. We can put faster or Let me try to put some signal. <laughs> I'm putting now uh, one kilohertz, and I must say the triggering works super nice. I just put it somewhere in the middle, and it just triggers. I I, I have had times that I had more uh, problems uh, doing that. Look at that! It doesn't even lose its trigger. It just. <laughs> Okay, but this is one kilo edge, so uh, I can try to put uh, one mega edge. Well, I just couldn't make it uh, trigger, but it turns out you have here the millisecond and the microsecond. So then you just switch, and then again you can, but now in, uh, you can now do a micros. But uh, this is one mega edge. And I don't have too much left, so probably this is the 10 mega edge version. Let's put 10. I should be able to do 10. 10 mega edge. Yeah, this is this is it. Okay, I'm now back to one mega edge. Um, now you can see that I put um, I put the square and the wave, and they both just uh, show up great. And it triggers really, really nice. I'm I'm really surprised that it triggers that well. And uh, yeah. cool. Okay, and. Uh, I see now in the front there are even probes, and uh, look, very nice in the casing. Let me just get one out because this was put away very very nicely, and I like to keep it as original as it is. But look at this; it even and they are old looking probes, but yeah, look, it is a real probe. Well, if we have a closer look, um, of course you have your brightness, and it still has a lot of brightness left, so that is really nice. So the, I'm surprised about the quality. I think the, the seller was very uh, careful with it, and he didn't use it too much. 
of course your normal settings channel a channel b or actually it's y1 y2 and it's just one mega ohm 20p your ac dc coupling you have your channel on and off this is i'm not so sure i need to find out what it is channel on and off ac dc coupling here you can switch to your time mode if you use this times microseconds or time milliseconds this is probably triggering upwards downwards yeah you can see it shift channel one or channel two this is probably the triggering if it triggers so one or two internal or external triggering and tv a normal that, that one i also don't get and we have here a trigger level which you just turn into it goes okay and if we look at the back well this question is answered it's 1988 after 88 they made the 20 megahertz version and this is very nice because now we know it's a really the original box this one says 2044 it's a serial number and look at the box and i'm not the one who did this the 2044 i was uh, thinking of opening it but uh, I, I i don't think i want to do that here is the original seals are still in here as you can see it even is a sort of a of, of a stamp let me try to zoom in on that here as you can see it is some sort of tree or maybe it's a russian sign but it is kind of a official seal and because it's it's kind of old i think i want to keep it as it is oh no tear down <laughs> i'm sorry so that's it the c1 118 from the ussr and i'm surprised about the quality it is nice after so many years it still works it is uh, so easy to operate the triggering just works amazing because it just snaps and your image is puff like you see here and there is still a lot of light uh, still available so uh, it can be used for many years so i hope you enjoyed it even though there was no tear down because I really uh, uh, yeah if it was a simple sticker i probably would have broken the seal but this was really some sort of uh, yeah like a, like it was done with a stamp so then i really like to have it as it is so thank you for watching and uh, i hope to see you next time